All right, welcome in this video. I'm going to show you how to create a parabola in AutoCAD. Very simple parabola is one like you have here. It's 20 high and 100 feet across. And the formula is x squared is equal to 4py. It's kind of a necessary formula to remember. It's the simplest of them all. And uh, in this case, 50 is the x. That'd be x squared. And so 50 squared is equal to 4py. And we know y is negative 20. So we have, so then we're going to solve for p. We move that to the side, solve for p. And then there you go, 31.25 is p. So now in this instance, v, or l, enter go from the origin and in this case the origin is 0 comma 0 we're going to go up 31.25 enter all right and that's our l enter this line here is our directrix i'm going to take that bring it up to this point Enter. So what we need to do is we need to find the point of vertical intersection, and we can do that by using this line here. So this is going to look something like this, get it there, and then down like that. We want it to be the right height. Control Delete. So to do that, we're going to take this 31.25 and find the focus also I'll enter from there I'm going to go down 31.25 enter and move this so and then we're going to connect that l enter let's connect this with a different color a purple enter Purple. That purple. Magenta. So now we're going to take this line, L, enter. Let's create a perpendicular line to that. Move. And we're going to take it right. Should have been the other side. Now that, that point is tangent to the parabola. Uh, let's lengthen that head to that intersection so this middle point where this line intersects that x-axis the perpendicular line from there will intersect that line here right if this line is going down that point that midpoint of that line where it intersects that x-axis the perpendicular Line, the perpendicular bisector will intersect this one. Trim. At that point, those two purple lines meet exactly at that point of our parabola. So this is the line we're going to lengthen right here. Just, uh, I thought it was going to lengthen. it does it just stays on there so trim that that line enter there so that is our pvi now let's just make that down to this one too that's probably something that you've seen before the uh, tangent lines think beginning a vertical curve a point of vertical intersection and PVT, point of vertical tangency, I think they call it. Anyway, so you got that, you got that. And then here, now we go in with this, delete. So now we can draw, that, that way they know the location of that PVI. We can use spline, hit that point, there, there. Hit enter, and that line intersects exactly at 20 feet high. So that's how you create a parabola that's 20 feet high and 100 feet across in AutoCAD using that 
uh, there's another way you could do it. You could take, so that's PVI, and then it's important that when you do the parabola and the spline on that one, that you use the method is CV. So in this case, right now, delete, I did the same thing. I just went and did my, my lines from the uh, increments, right? I think I, uh, let's see, I'll enter. So that the, from that line segment, perpendicular bisector, where those two intersects, T, TR, enter. That's where the uh, points are, and I did that for all of these. I just took some of the lines out because it was getting kind of cluttered. I like to color them in AutoCAD because it makes it easy to keep track. So uh, like here, if we go uh, green, I'll enter. enter. It's a little easier out farther away you get, but when you're up in close and then you zoom in, you kind of forget what you're at. So then the green perpendicular bisector always intersects the x axis where it intersects the x axis. That perpendicular bisector where those two meet, trim. That's your uh, point. So those points now when you come in here and you do the uh, spline with this method you're going to hit a uh, method fit let me show you what happens if you go the cv this is a control line that's far enough and then you'll see they don't actually hit they're doing the the points the, the, the PVIs, creating little micro PVIs, point of vertical intersections that are farther away, you know, like that point up there, and then the curve is way down here. So let's just delete that. So you go into spline, hit the method CV, then you can hit those points. how it works and then those points will actually uh they didn't hit i think i put the wrong one <laughs> i think i was telling you to do it wrong fit that way they'll they'll actually hit the points uh, the line will actually cross through those points You just keep going over and then you'll see those actually intersect the point. The difference between fit and CV, so this one was created CV, you got the, the control vertex or whatever they call it way out there. But if you went uh, spline and then fit here, it would, it would actually enter, turn into uh, different type of, uh, some sort of different type of curve. It's not a parabola. That green line is not a parabola. So that's the reason why you use those two different methods. But if you're going to go and you want the, to hit those points individually, that's the method you would use fit. Okay. And then let's see. So let's take all of this, move it. So it's AutoCAD and Excel. How about that? Uh, here we go. So this should be negative 20, negative, enter. And then these, this formula here, I should change it, get rid of that negative. It'll be enter. And then hit that. Copy that all the way down. And then that should be negative both directions, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, since you're going through the formula. So here's the formula again x squared equals 4py. There's how you solve for your PVI. And you need it for this formula. So the width is 50. The y is 20, negative 20. It's going down. So we're going to create a... Well, that's good because I just deleted it somehow. So I'm going to create that this cell here. Oh, no, I didn't. So this cell here, let's 
Just delete the delete it. Yeah. Let's just make sure that we delete these and I'll show you how I created that formula. So we're gonna go equals. Uh, we're looking for x squared. This directly this is always gonna be this one squared. divided by, open parentheses, four times this cell. And that's going to be a locked reference cell. We have to keep that all the time going back to that cell. Because that's P and that doesn't change. It doesn't change as you move down through your, your and then close parentheses, 4P is equal to Y, enter. And we get negative 20. That closes. That's what we're supposed to have. And then we're going to concatenate that, or not really. But we're going to just combine this one and this one with a comma in the middle. So equals 50, and then and, the ampersand, I think that's called, uh, open quote, comma, close quote, and then another ampersand. And then we're going to have this one, enter. And that creates that. And then if you just take that, double click that, it goes all the way down. And then uh, I think I need to. That one too, and then now all we gotta do is go double click on that little key and it selects the whole column all the way down to the bottom. Right click it, copy, go back to AutoCAD. And then uh, SPL, SPL, enter. I think a uh, method is fit. And then control V, enter, and it creates a parabola for us automatically with all those points. So if you have a bridge or something you needed it increment, so you'd have those increments for you. And then you could uh, take, uh, you could also go like this, PO, enter, control V, oh uh, yeah, I forget, you have to do, I've done, I knew how to work around this at one time. Tools format, so something screwed up here. Locked up. It's uh, draw multiple points. But see here, it just says point, specified point. I'm not sure why. I think it is an endpoint or something like that for multiple points. But And here, can shift control V. And we have all those points. And then you could use data extraction if you needed those in the, you know, to. to Get the coordinates of each one uh, in case you moved it somewhere else right if it's in another area or you take this you draw it here or you plant it somewhere in your drawing and then you could put the populate with the necessary points and get your uh, coordinates by doing a data data extraction so you go like uh, tools Data extraction, and then you go to save the drawing. So then we, that's the location. Then you need to tell it you want the points, and then you want the, the dimension, the coordinate dimensions, and then it would extract that and give it to you in a table, and, uh, and uh, something you could put in Excel or a text file for your instrument. That's what I know about parabolas uh, and AutoCAD, and I hope that helps you in your career. Thanks for watching.